you're a MasterChef Canada fan, spoiler alert, after a blind taste test last night, another home cook was sent home on MasterChef Canada. Jordan, we know that you were deeply disappointed with your dish. And sadly, so were we. And there's absolutely no doubt in our minds that you have more to offer. Please leave here with your head held high. Oh, a high praise for Jordan, but he was sent home after an elimination challenge where chefs were asked to elevate a classic family dish. Unfortunately, Jordan's elevated tuna casserole didn't quite measure up, but we are so pleased he is joining us from Winnipeg this morning. Jordan, how are you feeling? <laughs> Hi, um, I'm feeling okay. You know, I just got eliminated off MasterChef Canada, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> good, good. Hey, I have to say, Mary Berg was on the show last night and she complimented your shirt. And I just want to say, you look and snappy this morning. And so we're glad that you've got oh, a smile on your face. Um, the judges did say your tuna <laughs> dish was a bit oversimplified. So after watching the episode back last night, is there anything that you would have done differently? Honestly, I think I've, um, in my brain, thought of a hundred like different little like tweaks and twists that I could have done. I think I um, would have completely made a different dish had I got the opportunity um, to do it again. Totally. Yeah, well, that's fair. I, I really liked where you were going with the potato though, the purple potato. I thought it was creative, yeah. but they were missing the noodles. Totally. You know what? The potatoes were supposed to be kind of like the starch replacement, but it wasn't enough. There was like two on the plate. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hey, the first part of the episode, you guys had to do the most incredible challenge where you had to identify the tastes in a birthday cake, four layers, three layers of icing, but you were blindfolded. How, how was that? Oh my God. Honestly, kind of mortifying. Like each, when you would taste each layer of cake, you'd have a little bit of the icing that's a different flavor underneath. So trying to distinguish which was which was so incredibly difficult. It was honestly so hard and you had 10 minutes. You had 10 minutes, it was incredible. The, you know, the pistachio flavor icing was the one that blew my mind. The fact that you guys still picked up a nut flavor, cause you went with what, almond and hazelnut? Um, we went with the cake um, was, we made it almond and then the layer was, um, we did hazelnut, right. like a Nutella. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it was incredible that you guys got as far as you did. Uh, baking isn't as your Thanks. strong suit. You said that as well. Your partner, May, how do you guys think you did overall? You know what? Our cake was ugly on the outside, but <laughs> on the inside, structurally, it looked pretty good. And uh, the judges did compliment us on the taste of both our cake and our icing. So, I mean, it was just a bit ugly. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They said, uh, what was it? Ugly duckling on the outside, but a swan on the inside. And I think that was right. I agree. <laughs> you know, you left with some very high praise. The judges saying, continue to pursue your dream. And your dream is to work in food media and to publish a cookbook. So where are you at in yeah. terms of following that dream? You know what? Right now, I'm kind of trying to focus a bit more on my actual skills as a chef. I'm looking to do um, some collaborative pop-ups in the future across Canada with my fellow competitors and also um, working a bit as a personal chef, doing private dinner parties at people's homes here in, in Winnipeg or across the country as well. Jordan, what advice do you have for people who are watching at home who are thinking, I, man, I'm a home cook and I could be in the top 10 too. What would you say to them? Honestly, Make sure that you practice, practice, practice at home before coming on the show. Make sure that you're well versed in your sauces. All of your techniques are on point because that is so critical um, when you actually get on the show. Jordan, thank you so much and congratulations on your journey. You can catch MasterChef Canada on CTV Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central.